Washington The House Intelligence Committee is racing to complete its investigation of Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election, scheduling a host of witness interviews here and in New York for next week as Congress heads for its break, and, Democrats said, leaving other leads unfollowed. Some of the most important witnesses are to be interviewed in New York by committee staff early next week, possibly leaving Democrats to choose between attending those depositions or voting on the massive tax bill coming before the House. And in an indication that Republicans hope to wrap up their probe, the House committee has yet to schedule a single interview after the holidays, according to two committee officials familiar with the schedule. That has left Democrats fearful that the majority is trying to finish the investigative portion of its work by the end of next week, before the committee can connect the dots on one of the most serious efforts by a hostile foreign actor to hijack American democracy. I feel no need to apologize for concluding an investigation, said Rep. Trey Gowdy of South Carolina, one of the Republicans leading the investigation. M. R. Gowdy confirmed on Friday that he told a Democratic member of the committee, Rep. Jackie Speer of California, that the end of the year offered a natural boundary to their work. But he contested the Democrats' claim that Republicans were steering toward a preconceived conclusion and said interviews could still be scheduled for the new year, as warranted. Ashley Strong, a spokeswoman for Speaker Paul D. Ryan, said, the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence is conducting a thorough and professional investigation into Russian meddling and is following the facts wherever they may lead. Two Senate committees and a special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III, also are investigating aspects of the Russian efforts, and those inquiries continue apace. But the developments on the House panel and emerging recriminations between the parties appear all but certain to ensure its investigation will end in dispute. Rep. Adam Schiff of California, the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, said in an interview on Thursday that it was becoming increasingly apparent where Republicans were going. We're departing from all of our practices. We're departing from what's in the best interest of the investigation in an effort to jam in every possible interview in December, Mr. Schiff said and this looks like the House leadership capitulating to pressure from the White House and Steve Bannon. He was referring to President Trump's former chief strategist. The New York interviews next week appear to have provided much of the tinder. The committee has scheduled sessions there with Rona Groff, Mr. Trump's longtime executive assistant, and Felix Sater, a Trump associate who boasted that he could help engineer a real estate deal with the aid of President Vladimir V. Putin of Russia that would help win Mr. Trump the presidency.